Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Shin Hadi. My girlfriend has finally made it to the line. Hallelujah, God bless, I'm happy, this is a great day. Except, looking in the package, it looks a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie, not hyped, not digging that. But, let's get into the review, see if there's anything redeemable about her, see if she is a good addition to the collection or not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the packaging. This is your standard Black Series fanfare. You have your Ahsoka colored packaging in light blue. Black Series logo up above a big window showing Shin Hadi off very nicely with her one accessory. You have Star Wars Ahsoka across the front. Shin Hadi warning for plus Hasbro. This side of the box features some cool artwork of Shin looking super cool. Two-handing her lightsaber in front of her. This side features your wraparound window, wraparound blue stripe, and Black Series logo down at the bottom. Around back... You have a Black Series logo, a zoom in of that side artwork, and then a bio in varying languages, not about her, but about the show. Uh, they like to do this on the Disney Plus shows as to not reveal spoilers for the first couple waves. Although, come on, Hasbro, we're like six months post-show. Like, it's time. You can start talking about her. She's number 10 in the Ahsoka lineup. Underneath that is a bunch of legal information, Disney and Hasbro logos. Then you have more logos, legal stuff, and barcode below. On the top of the box, you have a hanger tab and a window. That window lets a little bit of light into the packaging. Kind of makes your figure pop if you keep your figures in package on display. I don't. I open my toys. So without further ado, let's get a Shin Hadi out of the box and take a look at what we get here. All right, so here's Shin Hadi out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at our accessories. She comes with her single-bladed red lightsaber. Now, this is not a red red. This actually has that very faint hint of orange to it which is really nice. It's not, you know, just flat red like so many of the Sith lightsabers are. That's very show accurate, and I appreciate that. It looks very good. The hilt is sculpted very nicely. You have the uh, kind of like ribbed grip area with the cutouts on either side of the hilt. The three claws up at the top. Um, some very minimal paint differences. It's a lot of silver. Thanks, dude. A lot of silver. And kind of like flat gray for the handle and then silver again on the pommel. It has a nice D-ring on the end. And something that I like about said D-ring is that it's actually sculpted hanging off of the side a little bit. So when you remove the blade, because yes, blades are removable in Black Series, and you hang it on her belt hook, because it's leaned off to the side, it actually makes it lay very naturally on the belt. It's not kind of just floating. Like, it's actually, like, up against the skirt material, and I really, I really do like that. Um, something I don't like about the lightsaber is there's two things. The hilt is very rubbery. I'm going to put the blade back on. Sorry about that. I have oud snake in my feet. The uh, blade is very, or the hilt is very rubbery. Um, it makes it difficult to get it in two-handed poses. It's also very small. Um, when you like get it in her hand, it's like only able to be one-handed. Um, there's just not enough grip on the hilt to get a second hand on there because it has that like suba up at the top, so she can't like put her hands like around the emitter. So like when you try to like work the second hand on, it gets rubbery on you. And, like, kind of get her to do that. But anything more dynamic, it just won't do. So I'm a little frustrated with the hilt. But it's not, like, a deal breaker. I'll just have her one-handing it, and that's fine. But definitely not how I want it to be. Um, looking at Shin Hadi now. I gotta say, um, they did my girlfriend dirty here. Um, as I've mentioned before, Shin Hadi is my girlfriend. I've laid claim dibs. Um, but just looking at the likeness on her, it's rough. It's not as bad as the photos tried to make it look, or, or made it look. Um, it's better in person, but it's still not great. Something really rough about it, there's a really good sculpt going on in the hair, but there is not anything to give it any sort of texture, and it just makes it look very, like, banana tinge white. Like, it's just so pale. Um, I'm not really a fan of that. Now, that's easily solved by just giving it a dark wash. Just, you know, very watered-down black paint. Just to settle in the depths of the sculpt to give it some texture. Because she's kind of got, like, that, like, dirty bleach blonde hair going on. This is just, like, too thorough a job. It just looks wrong. Um, combine that with the face being a little bit off. And it just doesn't really look like Shin Hadi. It looks like a very rough cosplay girl of Shin Hadi. So, I'm not a super fan of that. However, getting away from the likeness and working down the rest of the figure, there's actually a lot of good stuff going on here, except for a scale issue. Um, let's run through our sculpt real quick. So, 
she has like a very nice textured, you know, like fabric, you know, uh, torso area. Looks very good with armor plates on a black undersuit. I actually really like the weathering here. If you look, you're kind of like a sand, you know, tan. And there is actually like really, really nice weathering applied to the edges where like you would wear paint first on the gauntlets and stuff. It is very well done. I really like that. The, uh, like the hip plates have some nice weathering applied on both sides. And it's just really, really cool. I like the, uh, sort of like the corset, like pull cords on the back there. Um, that's just well sculpted, but there's not a lick of paint to be seen there. Um, working down, she has like shin plates and those are also weathered and they just look oh so good. Um, it's just a lot more paint than you typically get on a standard issue figure. Um, but it's very, it's very nice looking. Um, and so while from the neck down it's nice looking and even the face isn't horrible, um, something worth noting is that she's incredibly out of scale. So Ivana Sanko stands at five foot eight inches tall, according to Google. Uh, when I Google it, it just comes up with that. Uh, Natasha Leo Bordino, I think I'm getting her right, name right, Sabine, is five foot seven. So while Shin Hadi should definitely be taller than Sabine Wren, this is pretty, pretty egregious. And the issue here, I'm just busting out a tape measure. See, Sabine, she clocks at about five and a half, that's about right. Shin Hadi, clocks right at six inches this is absurdly overscaled um i'm going to be working on some sort of modification just to shrink her down a little bit um i think what's going on here the arms aren't the issue when you put her next to sabine the arms are about the same size and from the ankle to the knee that's about the same height i think what i'm going to end up doing is shortening the thighs because that just seems really really long from hip to knee. I think if I pull about a quarter of an inch from there, just bring them a little bit closer, um, that is where I will end up saving this. But she is just so, so overscale. Um, and like, here's the thing. There's certain things, you know, that you have to expect Hasbro to get wrong when they're going with like preliminary concept art. Um, you know, sometimes they'll get a little bit of paint wrong. You know, Hu Yang will be more Clone Wars color than live action color because they haven't decided what color he's going to be in in live action. Stuff like that might get changed the week of the episode airing. But when you have the casting of the character so far in advance that you're able to make a likeness, you should be able to just hop on Google and be like, how tall is this person? That way you know, okay, well, they're less than six foot tall, so they should be less than six inches tall in one twelfth scale. But what do I know? I'm just a collector. So it just really seems like the ball got, like, massively dropped here by Hasbro because actor height definitely is not something that Disney would hide behind, you know, some sort of secret, you know, wall. She should not be six inches tall. They got the other characters in the show right. Why is she so hugely tall. I don't know. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to quit bitching about her height, but it's worth noting and it should not have been done. Um, let's run through some articulation. I got to say, she does have some pretty neat stuff going on here, although it is modern black series standard. She features the double ball neck system, allowing her to look that far up, that far down, side to side, and get a ton of pivot. Her arms come up to a T pose. They're a little tight on the hinge there. I see it wants to like pull the butterfly joint out. Um, that's a little frustrating, but it works. And then, of course, you get your front and back at the butterfly joint. 360 at the shoulder. The shoulder pads are on a ring on the peg, so they will actually travel around with the arm in a rotation. She features single-jointed elbows that go a little past 90 and then swivel 360 degrees at both wrists, and both of them hinge up and down for peak lightsaber pointing action. It's not very often that they give the villains the ability to do that, so good job, Hasbro. She features a mid-torso ball joint which allows her to crunch that far forward, that far back. Of course, plenty of side-to-side -side and rotation. Her legs can kick all the way out. If you look under the skirt again, you see there's no upper thigh cut that has been negated by the knee swivel. There's a little bit of swivel just on the ball at the hip, but it's not like a thigh swivel. She has single jointed knees that can go 290 and then rotate at the knee. That knee rotation is why you don't need the thigh cut. 
and then her feet can point that far down, a little bit forward, and there's a forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get Shin in some pretty decent poses with both feet flat on the floor. To do some size comparisons, I will bring in Sabine again, who she should not be towering over, but she is. Here is Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka. Here is Merrick. And, you know, they're basically the same height. Or Merrick is just a touch taller. That's just not how it should be. And then here is Hera Syndulla from the Ahsoka series. So as you see, the others work pretty well with each other. But Shin, just way too tall. So, end of the day, what do I think of the Black Series Shin Hadi? I wish it was better. She's my girlfriend. I want nothing better than to put this figure in a jar and love it forever. But... The likeness is rough, the hair needed paint, and she's just so damn big. It just, there are mistakes that should not have been made, and they were made, and I, I, I hate being the guy that bitches, right? But it seems like it has to happen so often. And this figure should have been one of the greats. This should be on a top ten list. This is a main character, main villain of the Ahsoka series, who has plenty of stories to come going forward. And Hasbro just cut corners. And again, some of this stuff, you know, like, yeah, sure, you know, concept art, preliminary images, whatever. They should have been able to tell how tall the actress was. That is not classified information. The fact that they were not able to use something as simple, a tool as Google, to figure out what height this figure needed to be, throws me uh, there are very that there's a very limited percentage of women in the world that are six foot tall and over it's not impossible but on average they're less so just running out the gate with six inches just seems like too much so it bugs me it's whatever i'm gonna shorten the thighs and make it work i'm gonna put a wash in the hair and then it'll be a good bit more tolerable but i shouldn't have to do these things um, I, I just, I, I feel like I'm, you know, like I, I, I'd rather this have been a deluxe, throw the cloak in there and get a little bit more paint, you know, attention and, you know, if that's what it needed to be done, but it's frustrating. It is what it is on to Balin. Let's go get that video done. Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. I'll catch you next time. Until then, may the force be with each and every one of you and goodbye.